Hi, it's God, uh, it's White Cats Vlogs. It's September 6, 2013, and I just got done watching a movie that I'm going to tell you about. I'm shocked with the characters and the actors that are in it. And when I say that, I really mean it because I'm shocked. This is the movie. <laughs> Scary Movie 5. I didn't know there was a scary movie five coming out but then again i kind of did but i forgot about it because when they showed that honey boo boo scene where she came out of the box and says nobody makes me holler for a dollar i was like oh yeah i remember seeing that in a trailer i just didn't realize it was a while back and it was scary movie five and in scary movie five it's got Lindsay Lohan in it. Yeah. Shocker, I know. I'm I when I I was watching the movie and I saw Lindsay Lohan and she had the red hair. And she's only in the beginning of the movie because I guarantee you anything if they try to put her in more of the movie, she would somehow find a way to fuck it up by either forgetting her lines or not only forgetting her lines but coming to the set late, they probably was like, okay, she's here. Whenever she shows up, we will do her scene, and then we're done with her. We don't have to worry about her. That's why they gave her a little cameo, which I thought, mm -hmm. I just kind of wanted to see behind the scenes just to see, like, was she late? Did she show up? Did she get her lines? How long did it take just to do that one little scene? Like, that whole thing. Like, of course, you can't see behind the scenes when you get it from Netflix. But, anyways, so she was in the beginning. But the main character in this whole movie, which is her movie, basically, is Ashley Tisdale. If you don't know who she is, she was... First on TV playing Madeline or Maddie Maddie on Sweet Life of Zack and Cody at the Timpton Hotel. Then she moved from there and went to High School Musical, who was like in love with Troy Bolton and she had everything in her powers to get him. She was in one, two, and three. Then she was in her own TV show called I mean, her own movie on Disney called That's So Fabulous, where she goes to New York and tries to get get this job and do a good job. And, or not this job, to get the um, stage play job thing that was for her dog. Anyways, it was a good show that she was in. So, they did a lot of parodies. One of the parodies they did, which was based, there was two movies that were based in this movie all the way through. And that is Black Swan and uh, Paranormal. I think it was based on the last paranormal, to be exact. And they had an ape in there. They had, they did the help, the ship pipe scene, and they added more to it. Because I guess that's everybody's favorite scene in that movie, the help. And most of these movies that I'm talking about... Um, most of these movies that I'm talking about, I probably did, that they did parodies of, I probably did reviews of, you can check on my channel. Um, also they did, um, they, they did a whole bunch of movies. They did Evil Dead, that just recently came out. They did a parody of that one, which was kind of funny, kind of gross. And... Something about Cabin in the Woods, parody type thing where they 
need to get to this book. Such a thing Evil Dead did. I know I did a review of Evil Dead, so you can check that out as well. But my thing is, if you haven't seen certain movies, and you don't know if those certain movies would be good or not, I would watch any of the scary movies, one through five, because they do parodies of those movies, and then you can be like, yeah, they dra drag it out and make it funny, but you can see the similarities and then be like, oh, I want to go see that movie now. I never saw Black Swan, so I didn't know what kind of ballet movie they were portraying until the end when Ash, uh, when this black girl goes, oh, you're the black swan, and she's like, no, you're the true black swan. That's when I was like, oh, black swan. Plus, you could just see Ashley dressed as the black swan, and it just kicks in. Medea is in it also. Medea, the actually Medea from the Medea movies is actually in the movie, and she's awesome in it, and then um, there was a lot of cameos from a lot of actors. I don't know their names per se, but you'd recognize them if you saw them. Snoop Dogg's in it, also. Um, there was a scene where her friend's like, let's, she's like, take me to the cabin, I want to go to the cabin in the woods. And she's like, okay, and then she takes her to the club, and she goes, this ain't the cabin. And she goes, yeah, I just thought you could have some fun. And she's like, take these pills to let the edge off. And she's like, no, and then all of a sudden, she's pulled up. She has the pills. And Ashley is not the character that you know and love in High School Musical, where you just want to be with her and and love her. She, she if you're a young fan, if you're if you have young kids that were young fans of High School Musical and the whole Ashley Tizzo thing, do not let them see this movie because they will see Ashley Tizzo in a whole new way that they're going to be like, what the fuck? They're going to be like, not loving her as who she really was. Because she, you know how Disney stars and Nickelodeon stars, they they have all these young fans and they do all these good shows, and then they were like, okay, I'm tired of doing all this kitty crap. I'm older now. I want to grow up and do all these older-type movies, adult-type movies, and then when they do, it's like, you do, you're you just lost 90% of your fans because the young fans can't see that stuff because adult-only-type movies, and plus, most of you... The reason why you are as famous as you are on Disney and Nickelodeon is because of the young fans that are like 13, 14, 8, 9 years old that love you. If you move away from that, of course you're going to lose those fans and then you're not going to be as popular and as famous as you once was. And then you'd be like somebody like Lindsay Lohan and Amanda Bynes and get all pissy about it and just say, fuck it, I'm going to do drugs and drink, who cares? I'm done with Nickelodeon, I'm done with Disney, I'm done being a young star, I don't care anymore, and so what, I'm already losing those fans because I did these adult-type movies, so I'm just going to ruin my life, because I don't like my career right now, because I don't have the fans that I once had. Then be like Selena Gomez. Be like Ashley Tisdale, who was on Disney and Nickelodeon. Be yourself. Still keep your young fans. Do things gradually as you grow. And then your fans will follow because they grow up gradually as well. And then bottom line, you still have the fame that you once had. So Ashley basically does a lesbo scene with this girl. And does some crazy shit. It's really weird. And I don't know. It's all, I think they did the ring in this movie. But I'm not sure. So don't quote me on it. Let me know what you think. Because the ma mama that was portrayed as the paranormal thing. 
had like the two girls, one was acting like a dog, and then a baby, and they were like, train, like, it was weird, because she was knocking them off cliffs and stuff, and I just, I don't know, it just, to me, it didn't make sense, so I don't know how that goes, but the beginning when Ashley Tisdale character has the baby, you see in a whole new light as well, so she takes it and knocks it around and like burns the head but I like you know how I feel about how they hurt they kill or hurt an innocent little baby that has no idea what's going on well I'm glad that when they did the whole burn scene they didn't try to like put a cap on the baby or something and make it happen or put foam on the baby and then close and then make it look like she was hitting the wall so it wouldn't hurt the baby, because when they did the, let's hit the baby on the wall, let's put the baby on fire, let's throw the baby around, they used a fake doll, and you can tell in the movie that they used a fake doll, and I'm like, thank you, directors, for using a fake doll, and not really hurting a real baby, because that is just not cool. So anyways, thanks for watching, I'm glad I checked out this movie. I hope you guys check it out too. Would I recommend you see it again? Um, well, my opinion on that is, whoops, is go see it and you'll love it. Even go buy the DVD because you're probably going to want to watch it again and again. You probably want to show it to your friends and say, hey, watch this and you probably want to see behind the scenes and stuff. It was an actual really good movie. Would I go and buy the DVD? Probably not. Unless I see it in like Goodwill or something for like $3. Or if I see it at Walmart for like 5 bucks, maybe. But even if it's like $19 or 20 bucks, go get it anyways. Because the behind the scenes has got to be like really amazing or something because it's a good movie. And I would probably watch it again if I saw it on demand or if I saw it on uh, the movie channels, you know. But we'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, thanks for watching, and sorry this is a long review, but the movie was just so great, I had lots to say.